Paul Larson, our colleague at Mountain Lake PBS, is here with us now. Nice to have you. Thanks. So why the decision to make this documentary? Well, it's happening right now because there is a CD being produced right now, and it's spearheaded by Tawny Traditional Arts in upstate New York. They came up with the idea along with some other organizations. They've been wanting to do this for years. They came up with this idea to have contemporary folk artists record these old songs. So they had these contemporary artists listen to these scratchy old recordings because Marjorie Lansing Porter collected these songs and recorded them on a sound scriber, a very primitive recording device. And for years they existed on wax discs. And now SUNY Plattsburgh and some other organizations helped digitize the recordings. So these artists were able to listen to the old recordings and now they're putting their own spin on them. They're putting instruments behind songs that were only sung a cappella before and they're just putting their own little flavor into them. Uh, who are some of the folk singers involved in the project? Well these are people who have made a name for themselves as Adirondack folk singers. Dan Berggren, Celia Evans, Dave Ruck, Lee Knight are involved in the project and we also wanted to get some nationally known people in this project in the documentary and on the CD. So I approached Peter Yarrow and Noel Paul Stuckey of Peter, Paul and Mary and we went to Manhattan and interviewed them. They were very insightful about this kind of music that we're talking about. And also I asked the Bacon Brothers with whom we've worked last year to record a song for the CD. Now Michael and Kevin Bacon, they love the Adirondacks. They have a cabin here. They've come up every year almost and they go back all the way to their grandparents in terms of their family history having a cabin in the Adirondacks and their song is appropriately titled My Adirondack Home. And what kinds of songs are, are in, the, uh, in the collection? Well, we have contemporary folk music, but this is not what we're talking about. We're talking about traditional folk songs. These are songs sung by lumberjacks, coal miners, trappers in the Adirondacks in the past century and before. They're singing about their way of life. So really, it's history and song. What's special about the Adirondacks in terms of the, the folk music that it inspires? Well, I was just asking that question to a young singer named Alex Smith yesterday, and he came up with such a great response. He said, two of the things that can inspire great music are beauty and hardship. And the Adirondacks has both. It has the wondrous beauty of the outdoors and the history of the hardship of the lumbers, the trappers, the coal miners who lived these very hard lives while they were working in the Adirondacks in the past two centuries. And that's what inspires these particular songs. Also, the songs in this collection have a universal appeal. They're not just limited to this region. They're talking about issues that help develop the country of the United States of America as well as Canada. So it's really all over North America. We also have some French Canadian songs in the collection. And I understand that you're looking for some funding for this project. Yes, and we have a page on kickstarter.com and you can learn all about the project and you can look it up at songs to keep on kickstarter.com and that will tell you about the different offers we have. We're offering the Blu-ray, the DVD, the CD at various pledge levels. So look for songs to keep treasures from an Adirondack folk collector premiering later this fall here on Mountain Lake PBS. Paul Larson, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. It's been a pleasure. There's a lot to look forward to with this project. That documentary, Songs to Keep Treasures from an Adirondack Folk Collector, will premiere later this fall here on Mountain Lake PBS. Fifteen songs from the Porter Collection are being re-recorded for a CD that's being released in August. And then later in the month, a series of concerts will be presented across the North Country, featuring some of the region's favorite musicians, with performances in Lake Placid and Old Forge, and then more concerts scheduled for September in St. Lawrence County, Elizabethtown, and Plattsburgh. For a full schedule of concerts and tickets, you can go to mountainlake.org, where you'll also find more information on how you can help with the production of the documentary. This young man's name was Brennan. His age was 23. His parents lived in Mineville and raised him tenderly.